Hi everyone, I wanted to do a training today because somebody asked me how to create labels in Canva or cards in Canva, Canva and bring them into Mailbox Power. So the first thing I'm going to do is direct you over here to need help and then I'm going to go to knowledge base and then I'm going to type size and this is where you get the size for the different things like the food labels. So if I scroll down here, you're going to see food label. It's right here. It's 766 pixels square. So then I go over to Canva and you can... Then I'm going to go over here to Canva and you can get a Canva account for free. And then I'm going to go up here to create design and then I'm going to go right here to custom size. And then I'm going to type 766 by 766 and say create new design. And then I'm going to come up here under untitled and I'm going to put food label. And that way I always have the food label and I can just change up the graphics. Then you can search over here and if you're looking for something that says thank you, you just type thank you and then there's all these different graphics over here that Canva has. So let's grab this one right here and put it over there. So now it already says thank you, but I wanna have room to put first name. So what I tend to do is I make this bigger and I get rid of the return, whoops. And I put the space in there. So now, if I come up here and grab it, grab that X, you can see there it is in the center. But now I've got room to put first name down here. And you'll notice this says bright sunshine. Well, I know we don't have bright sunshine in Mailbox Power. So I'm going to come down here and grab Great Vibes because I know Great Vibes is a font that is available in Mailbox Power. And then all I do is I come up here to download and then I say download. If I wanted it to be a transparent background, in other words, maybe all this said was thank you and it had a few graphics, but this was white and I wanted to be able to put a background in mailbox power on it, then I'd create it transparent. But since this already has a background, I'm just going to hit download. And then it's going to ask me, oh, I'm in, uh, I'm in Safari, so... Um, or internet browser anyways. Um, so it didn't give it to me. So here is my label right here. And so I can open or show it in the folder right here and you're gonna see it put it in downloads for me. So now if I go over back to Mailbox Power to my main screen and let's get rid of that. And let's start a new project and let's do a gourmet food label. And today, let's just do it on the sea salt caramel. So I'm going to say start from scratch. And then I'm going to say start. And I'm going to say thank you because that's what it is. And save. And then it brings it up and now all I do is I go over here to photo and upload photo. And now I'm going to go back to my downloads because that's where it put it. And I'm going to grab that label and I'm going to say open. And then I'm going to grab it and drag it over and set it for the background. So see, there it is. It's all ready to go. And I know that I used great vibes. So I'm going to add an empty text box. And I'm going to go down here to Great Vibes because I want it to match the font. It doesn't have to match the font, but I'm going to do Great Vibes. And then I'm going to make it, we'll say 12. And then I'm going to use First Name as the merge field with square brackets. Now, that's um, kind of small, so I need it much bigger than that. So let's make it 20. And then that's kind of bold with it being black. So I can scroll down here and pick a different color. Let's see if that one's, nope, that one's not dark enough. So let's, 
let's go grab how about this one there we go so now it's not black and then I can tilt it just like thank you now I could in front of that say prepared especially for and then make this bigger so that it's thank you prepared especially for and then the first name and then I just hit save and that's how I do something in Canva and bring it over to mailbox power now you can't match these colors so we don't have a color picker so um, that's the only challenge with doing things over in Canva. If you want it to match exactly, I recommend you put all of the text. Um, use Mailbox Power for the text instead of Canva.